It's home. And we're coming to you live from the office this morning. So today is Wednesday, March 4th, and it is a day one today. Before we start our, with our announcements here, we have a quick message from the Own It campaign. Hey, how was your pre-cal test? Um, not so good. Really? Do you have a bad teacher, or was it because of your basketball game last night? No, that's not it. I did have a basketball game, but it was my fault for not managing my time better. Oh, that's too bad. At least you're owning it. Own, Own it! it. <laughs> Thanks for that, guys. So, another quick PSA from Kaylin. If you are missing your valuables, we most likely have them in the office. We got a nice little pile of house keys here. We also have a car key that was found in Miss B's room on Monday, March 2nd. So if you're missing that, come down and we got it. Um, a key knob, debit cards, pago card, glasses, you name it, we got it. So come down and collect your stuff. So... Just a quick reminder that there will be no Booster Juice smoothie sales today, but don't worry because you can still purchase your vouchers for only $5.50 in the tunnel at lunch today. And if you need help with your application to university, the guidance counselors are inviting all grade 12 students who have questions or need help with completing university applications to attend this registration help session. So this is on March 11th at lunch in room 13. And if you have any questions or you sadly can't make the meeting there, don't worry because you can always see Miss Matthew in student services. Friday, March 6th is the last day to get your French stories, poems, photography, and art submitted to the magazine Literaire. Email your submissions to milesmagazinelit at outlook.com. The Indigenous Club meets today at lunch in room 33 to continue working on our dream catchers. They're taking shapes and promise to be beautiful. See you there. A reminder to Glow Club. Hand in your permission forms for a trip next Monday to Miss Evans or Miss Matthew in student services. And there's a very short but important key club meeting at lunch today in room four. Good job. So this year, MMC will be attending the Rotary Career Symposium on Tuesday, March 17, 2020. That's this year, hopefully. And... It's from 9.15 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you will be covered for registration fee and the bus has been booked to, for transportation. Um, so we're all going to be going to the RBC Convention Center and make sure that you sign up on the bulletin board that's outside of student services and see Mr. Opalco for a permission form before the end of this week because spots are very limited and they are filling up quick. So, hey Bucks, the tickets are now and still on sale for the MMC's production of She Kills Monsters. So student tickets are $10 and will be on sale at lunch outside of the theater. So the show runs from tonight, March 4th, all the way until March 6th. So all performances will be starting at 7 p.m. And you won't want to miss out on this hilarious journey of the world of fantasy role-playing games, and 90s pop culture. And it's time for sports news. Attention all students, our next intramural is soccer. There will be a draft to make teams, so please sign up under the appropriate category. JV boys, JV girls, varsity boys, and varsity girls by Friday at 3.15 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Miss Wins. Badminton tryout dates for junior varsity and varsity teams are posted around the school and on the MMC Athletes Instagram page. Mark your calendars. Monday, March 16th, 5 to 6.30 p.m. is the first varsity tryout and Wednesday, March 18th is the first junior varsity tryout. Please see Mr. Gagne if you have any questions. Hello, this is Mr. Moore. Uh, just a shout out to the grade nine girls basketball team who played last night in the finals against Garden City. Did they win? Did they lose? Uh, well, unfortunately, they lost 33-29 uh, to 29 in the final. Great game. Great game. They led the whole game. Unfortunately, they just couldn't pull it out at the end. Uh, the girls should be very, very proud of the season they had and about how much they've grown. Uh, so give those girls in grade 9 who play basketball a shout-out and a pat in the back because uh, they played great and did our school proud. 
Thanks for that, Mr. Moore. And now we only have two bucks to call the office today. Ken Irish Mitchell Friesen and Shebnethan, please come to the office to sign your nice forms. And happy belated birthday to you, too. That's all for today, Buckeyes. Have a great day making a positive difference and enjoy the rest of your day.